Hi, thank you for watching Show Me Wilson. I just had a few mess ups, so that's why I'm smiling. <laughs> okay, so I wasn't sure whether to keep going and just let you guys bust a gut or cry. I wasn't sure. This this session was going to be more for our men. Okay, I would love to just plug the women's ears and just talk to the men for today, for this session. This is about our society being troubled with sexual um, arousement. Um, a lot of men have a dysfunction where they have a hard time getting hard or staying hard in, I'm, I'm just going to use the real word, the penis. Yeah, sorry. I think I'm more awkward talking about this, but I will get through this. Okay, so I know this is a scary thing for men because when they're on a date, they're going to wonder, can I perform? Um, and, you know, a woman wants a man to be able to perform. And so that's a very sensitive subject. It's probably very well known to our world. I mean, gosh, they've created Viagra and other forms of substance to help with that dysfunction. I want you to think about the food you eat. I've talked about our steroids with women when they eat beef or any animal. I, I was informed that chickens are also on steroids. I, I believe probably almost anything is on steroids these days if it's in a facility to create huge um, quality or quantity of meat. It's all going to be on steroids. But um, So women can get facial hair from steroids and bulk up and stop looking like a beautiful woman. Well, men, if you talk to your football players, what happens, or baseball players or basketball players, if you talk to people who, these athletes who go on steroids, what happens to their sex drive? It, it, gets, it gets destroyed. Um, and the more you're on steroids, the more it destroys that ability. Now, if we could talk to people in the 1800s when there wasn't steroids, it you, makes you wonder if they could have sex with great stamina in their 90s or hundreds. I mean, gosh, we know according to some of the scriptures, uh, who was it? John the Baptist's mother and father were in their like 90s or 50s or 60s, and they had a baby. Bap John the Baptist, you know, I don't know how old they were, but they were old, you know. Um, so ask ourselves, is it because of the food we are eating? Even that small amount of steroids that they pump into our, our meat is probably enough over time that it causes a dysfunction. Plus, now, can you see how this also feeds our alien family? Fear, oh, am I going to be, be able to perform on my date? Or is my wife going to want to have sex with me if I can't get hard? Or, you know, it can create fear. Just lots of fear. And fear in yourself because you're the one going through it. Now, what happens if we can balance that cell memory back to when you were healthy without the dysfunction? That would be amazing, wouldn't it? So another gift a person might receive if their wife is having sex with men, younger men, maybe that would wake up those cell memories of having sexual performance and it's just food for thought whether it really happens I don't know I have not been married to a man who was with that dysfunction and when I got divorced it was mind-blowing how rampant it is especially in cultures and in our states that push meat in fact they give you a hard time if you don't eat meat if you don't eat a steak you've crossed the line of not being accepted. So where does that all come from? You know, uh, give me a steak that's not infected with steroids, please. Thank you very much. You know, I want to please my women, you know. Anyhow, food for thought. I love, I love the man's body. I hope that we can help you heal and become, as you were created, perfect and um, that our women in our society will be patient 
have our men, our